Good morning, Floss Tube. Monday morning. I have to look. No kidding. October 16th. Right? Did I get that right? Does that seem right? Holy cow. Uh, anyway, today's, yeah, the 16th, because I said I'd do the drawing on the 15th, and then I thought maybe I better wait until everybody had had a chance to see the video through the 15th and comment. So anyway, I waited until this morning, and um, it's Monday morning, it's kind of dreary, it's cold out, and it's a very dressed down, no bells and whistles day. I'm headed soon to one of the um, my day's where I do a um, cheer. Oh, volunteer work. It's an outreach program. I'm in the basement of a church all day. It's cold. I'm on my feet. So we wear old dish clothes because um, you're at risk of maybe wrecking something. So we don't wear good clothes. <laughs> anyway, I have a cat coming in. I hear him. Who's coming out, Cooper? Um, anyway, first I'm going to show updates, and then I'll do the drawing. So I'm keeping it under 15 minutes. We don't have time to mess around with upload problems. I have things to do. So anyway, let's just do a quickie uh, in this cute bag with the magnetic sticks to everything clasp. I have uh, Lantern Lane, which is a stitch along, started by Chelsea and Priscilla. And I sometimes remember to work on that on the weekend. <laughs> sometimes not, depends. But I have almost the entire house done. I need to fill in some of the window uh, panes and a little bit around the door. I'm putting this away, I think, maybe for a couple weeks. I need to finish that page. Page plus a little more of my Heaven and Earth design uh, pattern whoops that I have um, left in my cue snaps for like I don't know way too long I need to get back to it I need to focus on it I need to get it done take it off its cue snap put it away for a while so anyway there's that one and then I'm doing Ebenezer oh, what's the name of it oh, da -da -da -da. Ebenezer's Christmas um, Erica Michaels um, Buckeye Stitcher and Kathleen's Trodden Trail and Marlene Stitching by the Lake are working on this one. Marlene's the one who showed it first and inspired me to think I needed it. Only I didn't buy it right away until Nicole Buckeye Stitcher showed it and showed how she was working on it. And I'm like, oh, I really do like that. So anyway, I am participating in that. And it's an interesting pattern in that it can be done in three different chunks, so the pattern is divided here and here. And so you can do it three different ways. The color of thread and the pattern, doing it individually, are all different. I don't know. I just picked three colors I thought worked. They remind me, as I'm working on it, a little bit of like the simplicity of uh, Prairie Schooler. So I've started on the words and the top installment. I started with the middle section. I don't I didn't pick out a flesh color yet, so his face is still a blank spot. So, I work on that randomly when I feel like it. And then it's in another project bag I probably already showed that I made out of fall fabric. I keep uh <laughs> I keep not having enough project bags. Only I never finish anything that's already in a project bag, so I don't know how I'm ever going to have enough project bags. So I just decided I'm always going to have like two more projects than I have project bags. So I just needed to get over it. Um, it's fall. It's fall with the summer that isn't ending, and it's fall. And I only have mild fall out al summer allergies that happen in the fall. So <laughs> I feel like I'm going to sneeze. So hopefully I won't in the amount of time I have. So then I was craving fall stitching. So I pulled out some things and I just went through and pulled out patterns and ordered the threads, which amazingly, I only needed three threads out of all the things. And I'm working on those and not working on uh, winter sampler or early Americans. That's what this has replaced the working on. So one of them was Bent Creek's Hilltop. Whoa. Um, Pumpkins on the Hill, it was called. 
So it was, I say it was quick. I started out doing the hill, or, you know, like a pumpkin and some hill. I had to change the green that's the leaves and the squirrelies like three times because it calls for putty, which is the hill, which is a little bit of a green, and dried thyme, which was the green, and then mine all matched. It all blended in, so I ended up with kudzu. I don't know who it's by, this whole big basket of threads. Uh, and still even, it looks like a nice... It looks like just enough variation here, but when I was working on it, I swear I wasn't taking it out again. It, but anyway, I started it and it worked up really quick. The first part I did, I thought, oh, this is like a two day project. <laughs> no, I was kidding myself. And oh, this is one I just bought Bittersweet October by Threadwork Primitives. <laughs> I pulled out the pattern because I did it, but where is it? In the basket of goodness. That was a pretty one. Pretty, pretty, pretty. And also in here is, I think I even showed that I was going to work on this. I think it's called Fall Squared. Let's look. Little House Needleworks Fall Squared. Exactly. Uh, it did work up quick. The orange and the greens were lighter than I expected. I was looking more for the deeper um, shades of greens and oranges, but also too lazy to go find them and change them. I just did it like it said. And then also in this basket, oh wait, there's one, there's one in, one here I started. Oh, here it is. A few, few stitches. A few stitches. What is this? <gasps> I know what this is. That is a cat bite. That is a bad kitty. Look at that. This is what they do sometimes when they find my stuff. Anyway, it's Blessed Are the Peacemakers, and I may change Peacemakers to P-I-E-C, Peacemakers, so it's more like quilt, a quilting thing. I don't know. I'm not committed totally yet. Um, little House Needleworks. And fortunately, it's a little, little thing that it's not going to, the cat biting the corner of it isn't going to be a huge problem. Lucky him. He was going to find the other thing that I discovered he chewed on. I don't know if you can see that. Those are cat teeth marks, too. <clears throat> it's too early on Monday morning for me to say the things that are really on my mind. Anyway, Little House Needleworks Pumpkins is on my list of things to do in this basket. And Bent Creek's Boo. And one more. Oh, I... You and I and Friends, Jack Cat, which I have had this pattern forever, forever and a day, years and years. I don't know when it came out. So those are the other three things that I put in my basket to do. And then I realized I just didn't really have any good whimsical Halloween pieces, so I found this the other day. A Bump in the Night by, I can't read backwards, Tempting tangles. I needed to order some threads though, and they're on their way. But look at the pretty fabric I found. I know I'm lazy this morning, keeping it, trying to keep it under 15 minutes. I haven't packed my lunch. I haven't done all the things I have to do. But I wanted to get this made so that we could get to the real reason uh, the giveaway of Little House Needleworks, Pumpkin Hollow Farm with the threads so it's been fun to get so many comments a giveaway brings the commenters out of the woodwork the viewers out of the woodwork turns them into commenters right that's the word so anyway i'm over here with my ipad other oh, other ipad my old ipad let's find it okay random generator one through 97 so Put in 97. Okay, let's get it back around so you can see. Let me expand it bigger so you can see. Okay, 
Can we do it? I didn't even test this because I felt like that was sort of cheating. There would be a winner selected, and but no, it was a fake test one. So we hit generate. Number, does that say 87? That is number 87. And number 87 is Nancy King. Nancy King, you and I had some emailing yesterday. So honest to God, honest to goodness, Nancy King is number 87. I have your email. I have your address. What do you know? How funny and exciting is that? Um, Nancy is new to re watching Floss 2 and um, is learning about how it all works. And so, yay, I think we have her hooked now. So, Nancy, yay. I'll send you an email now in another couple minutes because you won't even have seen this yet. So anyway, today's Monday. I'm off to one of my uh, organizations I do some work for a couple of days a month. I've taken on another thing that I try to do in the opposite weeks. We'll talk about that another time, though. And it's bleary, yicky day, but I won't see that from the basement of where I'll be, so it won't even matter. Um, not doing anything exciting, stitching as much as I can on the little things and a few big things. Heaven, hopefully I'll have my heaven and earth design pattern to show you what I worked on. I'm all the way in the upper right hand corner of the picture and it's sky and I'm going to drop down into the next row of pages all the way over to the right and finish the sky so that that side is done of sky. But it takes me forever. I don't know how, how in the world I thought I could do a page a month. I can't do a page every three months at the rate I'm going. But whatever. It's a lifetime project. Um, so that's about it for Pam here at Stitching Between the Lines. Yay. Have a winner. Have a thing I'll be mailing out in the next few days. See you all. Bye.